In this video, we will learn how to illustrate these lolos for a Telegram animated sticker using Figma. This is the color palette I will be using. Let's start with a rectangle for the body and set it to 686. And let's make it a bit wider, to give Lolo a unique shape. Set 175 for the corners. We are making the corners curve to look more playful, and not so stiff. Then we add a stroke, at 12, to make overall look more finished, and stand out. Next we will create the eyes. Select ellipse and set it at 63. Duplicate it for the other side and align it in the middle. Here, we will use pen tool to draw the mouth. So let's set 40 for the stroke. I would like to make the ends rounded since it looks more matched with curved corners and gives it a softer look. Nice, it looks more friendly and cuter. I have a cool tip for you, select mirror angle and length. See here. As you stretch, both length stays the same. Perfect, it is looking more consistent. Now, we will draw its arm with pen tool. As you can see, I am drawing the arm like our Lolo logo. In Bezier curve with the stroke width of 60, like this. And duplicate it for the other side. After this, I rename the layers so I can refer to them later. Great, now we have the completed design of Lolo. From here, you can alter anything you want, like facial expressions or actions. Okay, we will make this one our Angel Lolo. We ungroup everything, so it will be easier to control. Let's give it a tiny halo with an ellipse. Add a stroke to it, and make it to the 32. I like to make sure that every stroke is set at center for this Lolo. Awesome, now it is looking more like an angel. Now let's make the eyes look more innocent. Duplicate this layer for the eyes and hide the original eyes layer. I think maybe it will look more angelic and happy with closed eyes. Let's add the stoke to be at 12. Double-click it, select the dot on top and delete this dot. Repeat for the other side. Let's make the ends rounded too. Now, group the closed eyes together. Select both layers and then align them vertically and delete the original eyes layer as we don't need it anymore. I think touching hands look more cuter. Awesome, now we have our angel. Let's create our naughty devil. Eyes are the main feature that we can showcase its personality. So let's start with the eyes. First, create a square and put on top of the eye. Like an angry look. Then select both the square and eye layers. Click Subtract Selection here. Nice, let's fill it and add a stroke to it at 12. Again, let's make the edges more rounded. Let's duplicate and flip it for the other side and remove the eye underneath. For the mouth, let's thicken the stroke to 60. Make it shorter and a bit smaller, like opening mouth to laugh. 
duplicate the mouth layer to put a tongue in and create the tongue with an ellipse. Now, I will drag this tongue layer to on top of the duplicated mouth layer. Select both layers and then click Use as Mask. Nice, the tongue is now inside the mouth. Let's add some small cute horns to this devil. Make the edges curved and duplicate, and then put them behind its body. Now we duplicate the horns layer for the fangs and then bring the fangs to the front. For a lazy shortcut, just flip the fangs upside down and make them smaller. This is the layer where I mask the tongue, so let's drag the fangs layer to this mask group layer. Sweet! Let's move on to the next step which is the costume for our devil. To do that, we make another layer for its face, like a jumpsuit. Alright, we are almost there. And for a dramatic touch, I put a shadow casting over its face and set the layer to multiply. For the arms, we can make it as if laughing and holding its stomach. And finally, we have our devil Lolo. Okay, now we are at the last step. I am planning to put them both in circles. So, let's create an ellipse and set it in the same size as Lolo, at 686. Next is to duplicate them then align both vertically so that it is easier to control both at the same time. Let's rotate them sideways slightly like peeking out of the circle as I want to compose them in circles. Next we will duplicate the ellipse layer, and then select both angel and devil along with the duplicated ellipse layer. Select uses mask. I duplicated the whole thing and you will see both angel and devil in the mask group layer. From here, I remove the devil layer and also remove the angel layer in the other one. Finally, just fill up the circles with colors. Maybe orange for hell and light blue for heaven. That's it. Here is our angel and devil Lolo stickers prepared for animation.